Hey everyone, this is Tracy with Color Me This. I'm going to call this episode 104. It is my April haul video. It ended up being pretty exciting, starting off here with the Black Tin Color 180 that I bought used on eBay on April 2nd, and it was a really difficult thing to get the person to send it to me. They were a very low rating. They only had two positive reviews out of 13 items they had sold. And so I had to text them or send them a message multiple times asking them why they didn't send them. They found they were short a couple of pencils, so they said they found replacements for them. So I've already done a video about this but the exciting thing is at the very end, I did not complain. I did do a negative review saying this person does not know how to ship properly and that they felt Crayola was a good replacement for Kalur and to me that is not acceptable. So they offered me a refund. I got the refund. And the more exciting part of the story is what I ended up getting in place of with the money that I got back from these, I found something else to get. So these are in my queue. I have now put them somewhat orderly in their trays. I'm not sure if I revealed a little bit of my research here where I have confirmed that the this is the Color, the C, KCB is Color Color Barrel. 028 is the number. Uh, the Color Black Barrel that I own is also a match identically. And then my Brut Funer 520 student grade, which are the ones that are on my walls, I found 28, and it is also a match. So two that I have not found matches for are the two other Brut Funers that I own, the um, 120 squares. I do not find a match. I don't have the, there isn't the same number and none of the colors match. And then the 520 flower box, I just haven't got into the flower box set enough yet to dig around. They don't have a number. The only number they have is the, uh, the tiny imprint that I've already shared how I am revealing it by um, inking it up. And then there's this big long code that means something special. So whether or not I actually, once I get the greens all logged, I may find the exact color, but I don't think it will be the number 028. So here is a black barrel with 028. Here's, oh, that is not a black barrel. Uh, we have the light green 028. This is from this set right here. And then the student grade Brute Funer 028. All three of these are virtually identical. So that is all the excitement of this that I have found out. And I will be coloring these, swatching them. I have found a sort order that I like. I wanted to have that piece of paper here, but I only printed out the, the empty version but I wanted to give credit to the sort order I was going to use to whoever I found it from and I don't have that handy. So when I do get to swatching and doing the walkthrough, I will be sure to give them the credit. If at all possible, I try not to have to figure out the swatches myself. It is very time consuming and I so appreciate those people with the diligence to first off decide that whatever swatches that are out there in their sort order don't work for them and then to have that staying power to go through and resort everything where I just like it if I can go find a resource and I'm happy to give them the credit on my YouTube channel. So that's the first item. The second item that I ended up with was just a complete by chance thing. I was having some, some insomnia, could not sleep after my family left, I was still riding that high of, you know, entertaining company and all that. You know, we had been, they were supposed to come in February and they were delayed two months. And so they finally got here in April. And by that time, a bunch of things about their lives had changed. And now they're considering very seriously a move from Washington state to here like we did. So it has been, even though when they left, 
I'm getting a lot of calls and getting asked a lot of questions. I'm going to look at houses that they see uh, to check them out for them. So it's pretty exciting. So at 2.45 in the morning, I was surfing the Facebook marketplace and saw an, an image of these. There were five tins plus one more cardboard tin. And I noticed that they had, in addition, uh, a set, a listing for $10 with these things, these guys. So at, in the middle of the night at 2.45 a.m., I text this person and said, hey, can you give me a picture of the insides of these tins? So here is what they look like. I own, I don't even have on my radar to buy Black Widows because I feel they are too expensive. However, I ended up getting, these are virtually not used these three tins plus both skin tones plus I'll show you the the pastels that I got for $25 and I was not going to wait until morning to ask her for pictures because I you know when somebody says excellent condition which is all she wrote that could mean anything so in addition to those five tins I haven't even showed you the two skins so here's the two skin tones the lights and the darks those three white tins plus these for $25. Uh, I did do my research. These right now are 38 on Amazon. These are 14 each on Amazon. And each of the three individual tins are 20, though I noticed you can get all three together as a bundle for 45. And what I have missing now being the collector person that I am and having full set syndrome, I am missing the Monarch and I believe it's, it is called the Black Widow. So we have the, these, the name Black Widow, it's all misleading. And since I'm not an expert in this, I might say this all wrong. Black Widow is the brand. There is the very first edition here called Edition 1000 BW, which is Black Widow. Oh, I know. It's Monarch, which has a, a buck on the cover. And then it's Dragon is the other. So right now I can get both of those to complete the set of, what, 180 or so for $44. So because these alone, I mean, it's just amazing this person listed these and didn't really do her research. So she sent me pictures and of the five tins. I, I already own these generals. Um, I will show you how they look. So these generals that I own have traveled with me. I bought a set of the, their chalk pencils, only 12 of them, that in this 24 set includes the 12 that I already own. It has traveled thousands of miles and there's a pencil missing. Don't ask me how, but right there is a missing pencil. Don't ask me how this got torn. Uh, this was literally stuffed in the back of my one of my cabinets the entire six years we traveled. Uh, the first year, so it wasn't the first year we traveled because I bought these after the first year was over and I was into my second year. And I bought them because my... Uh, upline demonstrator who actually I worked with for many years before I retired. She still works there. And so I bought these so that we could do some colored pencil pastel stuff together with our uh, card making. So now, and she owns more than these 12. So now I'm happy because we have even more uh, colors to work with if we ever decided we wanted to do some more uh, chalk pastel pencil coloring. Uh, so that was great. And I got literally all the stuff you just saw for $25. So while I was there, I asked her if it's okay. I said, are you shy? And she says, no. 
And I said, would you mind if I took a picture of you by these items? I said, you are offering me a great deal. And I, I told her I was a YouTube coloring person and that I would post her picture up as a thank you for um, selling these at such a price that I could not pass it up. And of course I told her I would be giving them a great home. So the second set of items, so we had to discuss these. I do own Artist's Loft, not this set. I might only own a 12, uh, so I'll have to give these a try. I am not a Crayola fan, but I thought, you know, extreme colors would be kind of fun to see what that's all about. I love Stadler fine liners. I have um, a couple of selections of fine liners, so having a set of neons was great. You will see these prices are all from... Um, you can't get the extreme colors anymore, but I found them for sale on eBay for $9. Uh, I don't remember where. Someplace had the Artist's Loft for 19 It might be the big, the box store. I don't know who Artist's Loft, it's, if that's Michael's or what. Uh, $8 might have been Amazon. And then I ended up with these watercolor pencils for $4. So I will have to do some fun things with them. I can also have the coloring group people... These are really good examples of a very hard, you know, low end, very entry level pencil. And all of my pencils that I have are, you know, all the ones that I love to color with. And so I don't have a good selection of the low end pencils. I do have Crayola, not watercolor, but regular. And I do own the Jot brand Dollar Tree ones. So I will be able to make use of these. She wanted $10 for these. I offered her five and she took it. In fact, I only had $4. I had to run out and get four quarters. So then she says at the very end, she says, so now that I've got my pencils sold, I'm going to go through all of my coloring books. And I said, would you like to share your coloring book collection with me? I might just buy all of them. So she, it was clear that they meant a lot to her. She had done, she's like, I wanted to go through these and, and cut out the ones that I had colored in. She is a grandma. So she has a grandson that she says would color with her. That's why she bought the Crayolas. So I am going to um, tell you that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 coloring books, which effectively triples my collection of physical coloring books that I own. And she says, how about $20? So I said sold, and I did go out and get, uh, so we're up to, what, $55. And I gave her 60 and thanked her uh, for selling them to me and I wanted to go through these coloring books because some of them look very interesting. Uh, not all of them are my style of coloring but again since I host a coloring group I think it would be fun for people to see the variety of coloring books that there are out there in the world as well as perhaps I can get have some different paper types that I can explore the different pencils that I have in and see how they work. So the one type of pencil or collecting that she did was Alice in Wonderland. So we have this Alice in Wonderland, the only place she, she might have paid $9.98, she might have paid less, but the only place that I could find it uh, for new was $55 and then somebody is selling it, this is on Amazon, for $5 used. So uh, here is some of her coloring. I think she's even using the fine liners. And I actually don't mind, you know, I'm, I'm the used coloring book buyer and I enjoy seeing what other people have colored. I'm not offended at all. I, I know I paid a fraction of the price for these. Um, I can't even tell if she colored these. It kind of looks like it's printed this way to just, you know, give, be inspired by their example of coloring. So here is uh, some more 
a, some sort of a fat liner pen. Um, these two pens, I don't know what those were, but these might have been the fine liners. They're a very fine. That was a lot of ink that she used to get that colored. And of course you have the ink going through. So this is fun too, because I don't really have examples of different ways you can color. It does not need to be that you learn ever learn to color and blend and do all the fancy stuff that I have always been drawn to. It is totally okay for you to decide that this is something that makes you happy, it makes you calm, makes you forget your troubles, and if this is all you need to do to, to relieve your stress, I say go for it. So, uh, I am not an Alice in Wonderland person, but and some of these are colored in more than others, like this particular one. Now we hit a section. So you can see that this is actually nice coloring. If you wanted a challenge, you don't have to color as basic as these. And the artwork varies. I don't know if it's a different artist necessarily, but there is some sort of story behind this book. And so I will just keep all of these. And I suppose at some point, if I find somebody uh, the quality of this is a little bit grayscale blurry, not perfectly clear, and yet this is perfectly clear with a different style of art. Uh, but this is very colorable, and so is this. So I am happy to have these books and get, you know, because for me to try to go out and find books of a different variety when all I am drawn, drawn to is like steampunk and dragons, and maybe some fantasy theme. Uh, so here's a good one. Uh, this is $14. And you guys let me know if you've seen these. This particular book is Alice's Nightmare in Wonderland. And the person who sold this to me, the paper is super thin here. But look at these, this artwork. See, now I can appreciate really nice detailed artwork. I, my camera is up as far as it can go while still sitting on this table. So this is a very long book. It's probably a foot tall. Um, so we have a, a storyline, a short version of the story, kind of like the previous one and very nice. Some of the art is a little dark, but very well detailed. And so like, this is something I really like. I like anything to do with uh, steampunk and gears and cogs and that kind of thing. And being a gamer, you know, playing typical online computer games, the battle axe and the sword. So anyhow, I like this book art a lot. That's kind of creepy. The Cheshire Cat. Uh, we got both pages, very thin paper. So, I mean, I can use this for showing people the different options there are out there. Love this page. There's a creepy page. The third one, and there is another Alice in Wonderland. Here it is, found it. There's three Alice in Wonderlands. So this one is very Joanna Basford looking on the cover with the gold foil. Uh, it is bigger, thicker cardstock. Every page has this outlined writing so that when you're going through the story, you also get to color in the words and then the edges. Oh, like here's the perfect. I love this. So clearly if she's the one who bought all these books, which I believe she was the original owner, by the time she had this book, she had definitely bought some supplies and was into, you know, putting some time in to get all of the, the whole page colored. And she did spend the time to color the letters. And I don't think much is done in this book. Price that I have on this book, I just, I don't know if I found anything for this book because I did not write down a price. And I thought I went through everything. And then you have titles. Oh. So these are some person, this person's original illustrations. 
So that's the end of the Alice in Wonderland books that she had. There's a, this is a Fables. It has the corner bent. Uh, it is $12, I believe, on Amazon. A coloring book journey into fables with very thin paper. Uh, but I like the artwork. I like the little books turned into like houses. Little books going into turning into a little village. And then the pages all are kind of fan fantasy, uh, whimsical. We have Pinocchio, evidently. I really like this is a super tall double spread, but it's a vertical spread. So I really like that. I figure at this point I have enough coloring books that I could, and then I have the access to buying them used if I had a favorite that I can probably spend more time coloring. Now this book also has this page as a vertical spread. I would love to color this. And this is a uh, pumpkin. So Cinderella perhaps, but look at, there's like a Japanese castle and, uh, you know, an Egyptian castle maybe, and whatever that would be, and that. Rapunzel. Uh, some, if you like detailed, maybe stained glass it, whatever you want to, to interpret that as. Just some crazy art. I don't know what, what fables these are from. And yes, you're seeing dappled. I just noticed. I don't know how long the dappling has been happening, but it is late afternoon and the trees are swaying in the breeze. I like this. Uh... I am not sure about the uh, Aladdin's lamp, perhaps. Ah, and then we have the princess and the pea, a vertical spread. So I like this book a lot. This book I could see myself coloring in. Gotta have a unicorn. Don't know what um, all this is. Constellations, I guess. Uh, so anyhow, a world within worlds, favorite fairy tales. I didn't, it's extra thick craft paper. I don't know that I'd call it extra thick. Oh, here we go. So you do have the, the key at the back that tells you what each of the images are from. Ah, Thumbelina. Ah, another Thumbelina. All right, so I'm gonna go close the curtain so you don't have dappling on the pages. There you go. All right, so I've been through a whole four books, so let's see how quickly we can get through this. Uh, this was interesting. I was very excited. Love the Nightmare Before Christmas. It's 100 images to inspire creativity. It doesn't necessarily call it a coloring book. I found that it was available probably on Amazon for $12. And it, to me, it is not my kind of coloring book. Uh, it's got weird art, very repetitious I'm not sure who has done the art, but it's not really coloring pages style. It's a um, pretty good paper, images on both sides. Look, and here's somebody colored a teeny tiny bit. Um, I wish if, if, it has, if it has very few images colored in it, 
I kind of wish it wouldn't have been colored in at all because I could see this be something that I could resell to somebody who is uh, is a Nightmare Before Christmas uh, Tim Burton fan that might appreciate this and not even use it for something that they would color in just to have, you know, as like a coffee coffee table book. Okay, so there's that, and I don't think there's any, um, there, they talk about collecting these various, uh, Disney theme books. This is pretty crazy, not my thing, but I could definitely see that somebody who loved the 60s and perhaps early 70s would enjoy this style of book. The The entire book is filled with this 60s font and peace symbols and splats and I could see where this could be somebody's favorite coloring book ever. And it's all the words. All of it has words in it. Like, look at that. Wow. That's, that's a a big challenge for somebody. And it is Crayola. I did not even look this one up, I don't think. But its retail price is... I don't think they... Look, they're very sneaky. They didn't even put a, a value on it like you see on the back of a book. So, that might appeal to somebody. And if I have a student or a member who comes... And there's a sp and they want any of these coloring books. I will happily work out a really good deal for them, or just even give it to them. So this one has all of these images in it. They're all based on Emily Autumn's novel, The Asylum, for wayward Victorian girls. Uh, we have very thin paper. Uh, Images on one side, and then thoughts I am having whilst coloring this page. So this might appeal to somebody, especially if somebody knows of this author. Oh, and then the person, this is called Volume 1, Mandalas. So the book is of the asylum, and that's the author, and she actually colored, uh, she drew these images. There's lots of mice or and or rats in this. They seem to be a part of a theme here. So no price on that, although I think, nope, it does not have a price on the back either. All right, Escape and Unwind, Timeless Creations Coloring Book. This is a crazy art coloring book. And this one, if I recall correctly, has been colored in a lot like I don't really know if it was uh, the grandma or maybe this was the grandchild visiting uh, cheap paper very rough it is yeah it looks like it's a tear out because there's lots of this kind of coloring Although whoever was coloring sort of stayed in the lines. Uh, lots of textury things. Maybe remotely interesting. Maybe as practice. Um, yeah, with all these patterns, it looks like it was like done maybe somewhat by hand and then dropped into, you know, Photoshop or something. And then these patterns were just dropped in. Because these, these patterns exist through the whole thing. Um, and I'm okay with that. I don't know. It would be good practice for blending. And then we have this. I don't know what they were thinking. And then that. So I kind of wish, in this case with this book, that they hadn't decided to color. Uh, but then there's a bunch of pages that aren't colored at all. Oh, and then why? Why color a tiny bit of a partial slat of purple? And some blue. 
And then this is so tiny, too intricate to really color well. And then I like this. I think that that could be a really fun page. And this could be a great page. It's like, what are these? Are these clouds in front of the sun? Anyhow, so that's what this crazy art book is all about. And then the funny thing here is somebody was outlining these little chairs, or swinging chairs, and they drew it on the back. Who knows what they were thinking? And then there's some um, phrases. This one's actually colored with some effort. And I don't know if there's anything interesting. Oh, I see another shell scene. All the way to the very back is just, it is filled front to back with images to color. And it is also free today. Yeah, so I didn't even bother with uh, getting a price on that. So now we're getting into some of the more interesting books. So this is a, a Zen coloring book. Somebody with a whole bunch of letters after her name for some sort of certifi certifications or something. Uh, $20. I found on, I believe, Amazon. And this was an interesting book. It has what's called templates. And the, you can see it's, it's whimsical type art. And this is a book for adults. It gives you some tips. The first chapter is all about nature. And the one side is colors. And then the right side is a black and white image. But they still have like a, a vertical decorative. For each chapter, there's a color theme. Here's something colored in. I like that art. These are very nice. And then this one's been fully colored in. One of the chapters, if I recall correctly, so this isn't very reproduced very well. It's got some shadowing. Uh, here's colored in. I like that and that. Love the fish. So somebody might like this book. I think it has good images. Uh, this, maybe this is the, yeah, so. Whimsical, fantasy, some silhouette type images. And I think there's five chapters. This one's all music. This is kind of weird with the hand. And that's weird, but people might love it. Oh, and then we have uh, a whole bunch of fun baked goods in this one chapter. I'm not really sure what that is. Whimsical imagery. Ah, uh, don't know what this is. Nothing. And this whole image is colored in. Ah, oh, this is the one that a whole this whole chapter, I guess, was colored in. So that's that one. Sixteen ninety nine US. 
is on the back. All right, now I have something like this. this I have a couple of digital Jade Summer uh, coloring books, PDFs. Uh, that's how I did my, after I lost everything in the trailer accident, I was determined that I was just going all digital and bring a printer and I would print anything I wanted to color. So Jade Summer is one that I, I'm a part of her Facebook group and Nathaniel Wake as well. So I have actually also from another uh, used purchase, I got a huge uh, fall book. I don't know if it's done by Jade Summer or not. So this is the one, very rough paper, super rough. Black on the back side. So if you put paper between it, you can use markers. And it is just not my level of detail. Uh, looks a little too kiddish to me. So not my thing. But perhaps I will find a good home for it one day. And it is $6 on Amazon. So the next three are very strange. And this is out of print. The only way you can get any of this particular artist's coloring pages is directly from her. And they're like $60 for 25 images and then a Christmas, or maybe it's 20 images for 60 and a Christmas theme set of images for 75. Her name is Jane F. Hankins. So I thought that this, I don't think these have been colored in. This is the, all of her artwork has faces and she writes some words on her pages. And this is 80 pound, uh, tear out very, very thick. The thickest of any of these books paper somewhat smooth, probably very nicely colorable. It would be great done with markers like Copic markers. Uh, but all of her stuff is her own unique style. They're all spiral bound. These three books are spiral bound nine by twelves. And this actually, if you look at the picture of her, I think that that, let's see. Yeah. So there she is right there. And these pictures of female faces look a lot like her, like a cartoon version of her, somewhat Dr. Seuss-ish. So I might be trying to find a home for these. None of them have been colored in. They are completely not my style, and I would rather see them go to a home that appreciates this art. Uh, Happy Veggies, there's her name, and a sleeping doodle bug. So she likes to write... Early each morning, the little ones visit the carrot patch. Little bunnies with people faces. And even the flowers have people faces. Right here. Okay, so these are the uh, 9x12s. They're the small ones. And then there's this one. I don't even know that I can get it in. 25 11x14s. Paper suitable for framing 80 pounds. And this is volume two of her imaginary world. And let's see if we can see. This is like a sideways seascape with fish, with people faces. A very strange sea life forms. In an undiscovered part of the ocean, evolution took an odd turn. So all of these art pieces are pretty elaborate and strange. Uh, these are prairie snufflers and they have big noses. So all of these four out of print. Now, um, nope, I think I see them in there. This was interesting. I loved this. I think this is very, very clever. If you've never heard of quirkles, it is a real thing. And this is a very big book. It's sort of a paint by number, but with circle bubbles. 
and I can't wait to try one of these. I am absolutely, I was reading the instructions on how to corkle, and this particular artist has color options and then different um, marker cross hatchings options. So this actually, if you fill it in correctly, will produce some sort of cat. And they are big and they are only inked on one side so that you can use markers if you want to use markers or pencils, just whatever your medium is. And then in the middle here is a giant poster version. So if I ever get bored, I know something I can do. And here are, is the, uh, in the back, these are the images that you are supposed to get. And I am not sure which one is the oversized one. It doesn't really say. I mean, it could be the lion. Any of these longer ones, that's cute. So, I'm definitely going to be doing something with that. And did I find a price? It's $14.99 is the retail price on the back of it. We're almost done. Getting close. The Mysterious Mansion by Daria Song. Mazes, Sudoku, dot to dot, coloring pages, finding hidden pictures, and more exciting games. $15. Uh, has a variety of type of art. Some of it's already colored for you. Um, this, I guess, is you make this little 3D and then you put the symbols in it. A magical cube, they call it. Uh, that's something you can color. Clothes, here's your doll. Very different. And this one has not been colored in at all. So, again, something I could find a good home for if I find the right person who would enjoy it, I will happily give it to them. All right, so we've got, I'm telling you, this was a, a very big boon for me. Big Monster, the coloring book, Big Monster. This is a little different. But this is a specific type of art, though, that I have seen out there in the world. I did not even bother to price this one out or see if it was available. Uh, thin colors, or thin pages, only one-sided, but all of the art is a sketchy charcoal type art. And they all, I believe all of them have a person's face. Not my thing. But perhaps someday I will find it the right home. Oh, here we go. Somebody's colored. These are colored in. So clearly this spoke to her. Some of them even have her name in the front. This one does not. And I don't even know if these are pencils or if there were um, crayons. So that's that one. All right, this was um, very exciting. This is a second copy that I already own one of, and I have not touched it. And now what's exciting is that I now own two of them. The one that I bought was new, not used. It was a buy two, get one half off from Amazon. I've done that a couple of times now. So this one I know has been colored in. There you go. So I will be coloring in this. I just was impressed by the fact that this art, oh, and so she tore this one out. You know, that this is toothpick art, toothpick and ink. And I like that it's uh, brown, not black, and that it has some shading to it. I just really liked the art uh, and the architectural art. Here's another one. I think she must have been starting to clean out uh, clear out the, this was like the first book she hit. So there's a couple of pages. 
And I know that this isn't everyone's favorite. I just didn't know any better, and I bought the first book. And so this is another copy of the first book. Only three left. This one is not very impressive to me. Not probably going to do much with this. I don't know. It's rough paper, very thin. You can see through the print. It is full of patterns like one of the other books, uh, but really very rough. Uh, she said she really enjoyed Norway, and so that's why she got this one. Maybe for practicing patterns, trying out pencils on cheap paper, who knows. Then, these two. Oh, these aren't them. I guess my books are already out. So, there's this, she likes gothic, dark fantasy coloring. And cheap paper, kind of thin. The artwork is nice. I would imagine that these are pretty popular for some people who are into this style of art. And I don't think this one's been colored in. And it's $10 on Amazon. Christmas to color. Mary Tanana has been colored in. Love the art in this one. Like this. It's very Joanna Basford esque has lots of some pat pattern style, a nice wreath. Some of the pages have been colored like that one and that one. And then what's not in here are the Joanna Basford books that she had, which of all the crazy things, let's see which ones Here's the three that she has. So based on just these three books alone, I feel the $20 was worth it. So I own three of my own Joanna Basford books, not including Small Victories. And only one of these is a repeat. Secret Garden I own. I then own uh, The World's One. And rooms, oh, rooms of Wonder, Worlds of Wonder, and Secret Garden. And then I don't have Enchanted Forest nor Lost Ocean. So I'm not even going to, I'm just going to flip quickly because you guys probably are all familiar with these books. Um, I did own The Secret Garden back in the day. My own first original copy of it that's long gone. And this does not look... Here, that's her name. We don't want to see her name. I'll have to wipe that out or something. Uh, here is the Lost Ocean. It looks very detailed. There are some really small details. There's something colored. Uh, but see, look at all that detail. Um, either pencils or fine liners. Gel pen might be. Glitter pen might be nice. Look how small that is. I did not realize how detailed her art gets in these books. Very small. This is more my size. I even want bigger spaces. This is even better. Uh, she colored a couple things. Like, why? But it was her book. It was her, her time to relax. Who knows? They were hers to do with as she wills. And then the last one, Secret Garden, is the one that I have a duplicate of. And I've never colored in mine. I did buy it used. I think I bought all of my Kirby books and the Joanna Basfords that I have used. So I will have to look. Clearly some young youngster was helping. Uh, I think in this she actually completed, you know, I like seeing. That there's That's a very nice piece of art. And I hope it gave her much joy. Here's another one that she spent a, a goodly amount of time coloring it in. And then look at that. That's impressive. That is a lot of staying power to get that done. So, we, are we at, we're at 49 minutes and I only have 50, 55 minutes of space. I have one last item. 
alas, I ran out of disk space. So this is the set that I bought, which is called set B. And it consists of volumes four, five, and six. The case looks a little bit worn. The back isn't worn at all. <clears throat> we get the original paperwork that shows the swatches. And that all looks in good shape. Let me see something here. Oh, this is actually the entire set. Uh, through volume nine, there's also two 12 packs, Vivid and something else. Uh, so 90 plus 20 or so more, because I think there's two 12 packs and then maybe even a third. But again, I, this isn't something I've researched because they weren't on my must-haves. So here is what volume four looks like. It is a very beautiful case, pale tone two. I'm going to make sure, yep. So here is what they look like. There's some fluff in there, but they look almost new. I see that one used and that one used. Not sure if they've even been sharpened. Very nice. And then the lid has, you know, so this is like, I will keep these in these cases. Perhaps one day if I ever have the full set, I will take them out of these cases and will put them in a zippered case for use. But in the meantime, if I do, like I'll swatch them, probably set up the swatches. Since this is four, five, and six in the middle, I will figure out where they are in the swatch of my long skinny swatches and maybe they can come out and play. I don't think that there's enough of them right now for me to actually use them in my daily color. Uh, so for right now, I will just get them swatched. It looks like that one and that one might have been sharpened perhaps. Uh, the ends have, so the two end pencils look like they're up a little further due to the packaging. Uh, and then a couple of these have been used and then that one may be sharpened. But still, another beautiful case. Let's check out the lettering. I see very small silver writing. I see, let's see, what does this say? Mustard D15. So I have this little guide. Oh. Okay, well that's interesting. So I, I clearly have to check this out because they were probably not put back in order because I don't see on here. See all of this investigation. Mustard D15. Go back to this one. Oh, I just love me some investigation. These are peas. And let's just pick one, rotate one around. Mint green pea. Boy, that is so small. Let's go up to mint green here. P16. Okay, so I have that one open and that one open. What was the one that, these all should be LGs. Wow, that's interesting. P18, and these are all LGs. So, let's look here. Ah, so here's all the D's. There's mustard, D15. 
and D15 is this color. So this is supposed to be over here. Let's see if all of these are Ds. You have something. Here's LG2. See that? How close these are? Cork is LG2. Mustard is D15. So I believe LG2 goes right here. And mustard here. So clearly I have some fun. Because here's Crocus P20. So P20 goes over here in volume four. So I get to spend some time getting these all sorted. So this is purple, P20. It's just crocus. Let's see if I can find this with you. Here's LG5. LG5 is willow. Oh, they're just all messed up. Okay, cool. So. I am going to go away. I won't bore you with the sorting of these. That's kind of exciting that I have some work to do. I do have a full set of 30 pencils and uh, perhaps this was her personal set and she played with them and used them a little bit here and there. So like that one's been used. So uh, let's see, since I'm totally derailed and I didn't have a time crunch this time, I just kept going. Again, I paid, what did I say, 18? plus shipping plus tax it was a total of just around just over twenty six dollars and depending on my swatching of these and if I can find another good deal so the the Black Widow and the Erogitans to get the full set both of them like the Black Widow is like hundred and fifty dollars and then the Erogitans is like Right around, right under a hundred, I think. If you were to just to pay full price on what Amazon or Dick Blick charges for them, so we'll see if I, this goes anywhere. I'm just very excited that I had a good shopping experience with a brand new seller, and I will make sure I have all of the thirty pencils I need that came with this set. I've looked at her other listings. She is some sort of a crafter, and has some books for sale some art supplies for sale. So this is something that um, she should know something about. So I'm pretty sure that all of the pencils came. So thank you all for visiting today. I'm sorry this took so long. I, you know, I knew that the coloring books would be uh, the long end of the stick. So I am going to go ahead and do a timestamp for the various items. So if you're not a coloring book person, you can skip all of the coloring books. So the grand total coloring books was 21 plus the three Joanna Basford books for a total of 24 new coloring books, which is crazy. So do all the YouTube things like share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.